I don't have no ride. I have no transportation. Okay, well, that's great because, as Mr. Valle said, we do have a ride for you. So, what's the address that you can be picked up at? Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and I have two clips for you today. The first one is from Judge Schaefer at Michigan's 8th Circuit Court. He has a defendant who's trying to avoid getting arrested, so she doesn't actually show up in court in person. And she's a horrible liar. And the second one is from Judge Slay at Michigan's 22nd Circuit Court. And he, she just has an angry, angry man in her courtroom. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think of these two. Is that not her? Next matter be People versus Nicole Strowbridge, Your Honor. File number 23S29942. Uh, Your Honor, today is the time to be set for a status conference. We did notice this matter on, um, and Ms. Strowbridge is not present. My understanding is there is some, some communication between her counsel and the court and indicated she could appear by Zoom. Um, I certainly indicated on the notice that she needed to appear here in public or, or in person. Is that Ms. Trowbridge? It's remote there yes. on the galaxy? Yeah. Is that you, Ms. Trowbridge? You're on mute. You're, you're muted, ma'am. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Is that you, Ms. Trowbridge? Yeah. Okay. So, Your Honor, I, I, I want her to be here in public. First of all, there's a bench warrant for her arrest. Um, and I, I, I want her to be present in court today for that specific, well, it wasn't when I issued it, I didn't know about the bench warrant for when I issued for the status conference, but I don't like to do these kind of things by Zoom. Um, but now there's a bench warrant, I want her here. So I have the state police who will pick her up. I just need to know where she is. I have her, the address that I have for her is 3608 North Bath Lake Road in Pearson. Um, my understanding is she's a, she's advised um, Mr. Rasmussen that she does not have a ride there. I'll provide her a ride, uh, or the people will provide her a ride. Um, and I want her to let me get picked up and her to come here. All right, Mr. Rasmussen, it does appear that the notice says defendant's appearance is required for this hearing. Well, yeah, Your Honor, I'm sorry. I guess I just, I didn't realize that meant in person. Obviously, we have clients, well, just like the last one appear on Zoom all the time. I just thought it was a status conference. I didn't know anything about this warrant. So she asked me yesterday if she could appear via Zoom. And I said, well, John, if it's just a status conference, I kind of just expected this would be Mr. Belay and I discussing a deal that I wasn't expecting us to reach. So that's why I assumed oh. not really a big deal if she was. So I didn't know about the warrant. Well, how about we just make this easy and just see if Mr. Ms. Trowbridge can help us. Ms. Trowbridge, sure. how long is is it going to take you to get up here to the courthouse? I don't have no ride. I have no transportation. Okay, well, that's great because as Mr. Valle said, we do have a ride for you. So what's the address that you can be picked up at? Okay, I'm, I, you know, what I'm upset about is, okay, this warrant is with um, hey, Ms. Trowbridge. Trump. Ms. Trowbridge. I'm <laughs> What? Ms. Trowbridge, I don't want you to say something that could be used against you. Mr. Rasmussen will advise you about your underlying case and this warrant, all right? So we shouldn't be talking about whether you agree or disagree with any of that. What we need is your presence to get it all taken care of. And because you don't have a ride, unless people give you the ride, I just need to know where you're at so Mr. Belay can send them out and Mr. Rasmussen will be here and we'll take care of all of it. So where are you located? Right now I'm in Grand Rapids because I'm I'm at I'm taking care of my sister in the hospital. So you're at a hospital? Yes. What's the name of the hospital? St. Mary's. Okay. So let's put you under oath so that we know that you've got it covered. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear from the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you got? Yeah. All right, so you can put your hand down. So, Ms. Trowbridge, recognize that if you do say something that's not truthful under oath, that could be a new felony. It's called perjury. So, where are you located right now? Right now, I'm at I'm 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 at the hospital. Okay, which hospital? 
St. Mary, but I can take care of the warrant. I Hold cannot on, leave. The I mean, I, I mean, honestly, I cannot leave Ms. the hospital because my what? Hang on a second. So St. Mary's, do they have more than one location? I don't know, Grand Rapids. I don't. Okay. So can you ask somebody who's probably right there in the hallway? What's the address I'm, of the I'm hospital in a, you at? I'm in a private room. That's all I know. Okay. So how about if I give you a couple minutes, you don't hang up, go give me an address. Like, I can't leave this room right now. Because I'm this, I'm this video with video with you. I'm willing to take care of this warrant when I get when I get paid on on um on Monday. I'm willing to take care of it, Judge. I'm being serious. Miss Trowbridge, you, you you don't get to decide when you take care of it. The fact that there's a warrant already means that you need to take care of it. I'm trying to help you take care of it by assisting Mr. Belay in getting you a ride to the court. I assume that by your answers, you don't want the ride to the court. It's not that. It's it's my sister. I'm being honest with you. She's about to pass away. I'm being Ms. very Trowbridge, serious. Hey, Miss Trowbridge, as your counsel. I'm being very serious. Uh, hold on. Miss Trowbridge, let me speak uh, on your behalf for a minute. Your Honor, at this time, frankly, I have to advise my client uh, to remain silent because I'm afraid if she says anything else, uh, she might be in more trouble. So, all right. So, Miss Trowbridge, I'm going to order that you appear here in person this morning. However, you want to get here, we are going to give you a ride. Uh, if you are arrested on the warrant, then I'm going to revoke your bond altogether and you'll be held until we resolve the situation. So, it's uh, 10 30. There's no reason you couldn't be here before noon because we're not. I've got a whole docket this afternoon, so be here by noon or warrant will remain in effect, and then there'll be no bond. All right, you're all set, Miss Trowbridge. You can sign off. You don't have any problem if we she appears. If I, I think he has other matters scheduled, and he can appear by Zoom this afternoon if that's the case. So. Mr. Rasmussen. Yeah. yeah. No, you okay. can appear by Zoom. Miss right. Trowbridge needs to be. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Andrew Childers appearing on behalf of the people. <laughs> Mr. Sobin, can you hear me, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, hi, Ms. Novesky. Thank you, Honor. Gina Novesky, first assistant public defender. Um, on behalf of Mr. Sobin, he is requesting the public defender, and I did meet with him this morning. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, Mr. Sobin, I'm going to read you the complaint that's been issued before the court. Um, it is... You have been charged with a misdemeanor complaint alleging that Marion County, Indiana, um, was requesting your presence with an extraditable crime of invasion of privacy and intimidation slash threat, um, and that the complaining witness, which is a Washington County Sheriff's deputy, has probable cause to believe that you are found in Washington County Jail in the township of Pittsfield and county of Washtenaw, and that you're liable to by the Constitution and the laws of the United States and the state of Michigan to be delivered upon demand of the governor to Indiana and to be removed to that state forthwith. Um, your liberty interest is at stake, and here in Washtenaw County, uh, we will give you an attorney. Would you like the assistance of the public defender? Uh, no. No? Okay. No, I mean, no, I mean, I mean, I'm going to waive extradition. I don't need, I don't need that lady to help me do nothing. Well, okay then. Um, so I need, we'll, we'll... I need that. Uh, I need that case number on this case, uh, 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 Your Honor. I just because uh, I just was released from prison yesterday. Okay. And, uh, I was just released from prison yesterday on a revocation for this offense, and. Uh, okay. I was just released. They assured me Marion County was going to be there to pick me up yesterday at Milan Federal Correctional Center. And if they wasn't there, they were supposed to release me. Well, apparently they did. They had this sheriff's department come and pick me up. You okay, know what? So I will tell you, Mr. Sobin, I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. You have some needs. I'm not in the position of giving you legal advice, but I did uh, offer you the public defender. So if you want some additional assistance, Ms. Nevesky is a very seasoned attorney who's here and might be able to help you out with that. 
Uh, I not told, make the offer one more time. I told her already that I was waiving extradition and going back okay, to. Okay, well then you're. I'm not asking. You're not asking me any more questions about that then. So to waive extradition, sir, I'm going to read this piece of paper in front of you. I'll ask that the correctional officer. Hopefully, there's somebody in the room with you. You got that case number, Your Honor? Too. I need that case. No, number. I don't. There's, you don't have the case number on this on this warrant. No, I don't. Do you have a correctional officer with you? Can you get somebody in there? Yes, Your Honor, I'm in here. Good. Thank you. Can you please point the camera down to the paper as I read it? There's a waiver in front of you where you can waive extradition. I, Gregory Sobin, am the wanted person by Marion County, Indiana, on a pending arrest warrant charging the crime of invasion and privacy and intimidation threat. I waive the issuance and service of a Michigan governor's warrant and all other procedures incidental to the extradition proceedings including the right to an attorney, which you just waived, unless you've already retained one. It says that you voluntarily return to the demanding state of demanding state in the custody of the agent of that state. Sir, if you would like to waive your extradition and uh, we'll arrange for pickup for you back down to Indiana, go ahead and sign. Okay, and what is this, a misdemeanor, yes or no? Don't know. I mean, you did. Uh, well, you're saying I'm signing this. I just uh, you said earlier this was a misdemeanor warrant. Am I correct, Your Honor? Yeah. No, fugitive from justice is a misdemeanor warrant in Washtenaw County. I don't know what invasion of privacy, intimidation threat is in the state of Indiana. Now, if you had asked for the public defender's office, they might have been able to help you out with that. Okay. Well, the question I have for you is: Do you want to waive or not? If not, you're coming back a different day because we have a courtroom full of people. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm waving it. Get me the hell out of your jail. How you like that? <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Do I got to sign it? What team, we sir? just did. Oh, the uh, date? Sure. What's the date? 11-16. Well, in that first clip, I really wish he would have said, show me the room. You know, take your phone and show me what the entire room looks like. Because that would have been, <laughs> that would have been the tell right there. Because I'm pretty sure that's not... A hospital room it could be but I don't think so and then the second clip I think judge slay was just she just wanted to get rid of the guy <laughs> she was happy to to have him extradited so anyway thank you guys all so very much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>